Greg, it's time to wake up. Uh, more sleepy, please. But it's 80s Retro Toy Craze Day. It's Mask Day. Mask? <sighs> oh, yeah, man. Let's do this. What's up, Nostalgia Nuts? Welcome back to Growing Up Movies. This is your source for all things pop culture, nostalgia, and childlike creativity. Uh, today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I went into my attic and found a bunch of old toys that I had when I was a kid. I washed them off and I brought them out. And this episode is about 80s toys crazes. And what I mean by that is that um, if you've seen the show, the toys that made us on Netflix, you got to watch uh, the origin and the stories of some of the most popular toys uh, ever made, you know, from He-Man to Barbie, and uh, they did Transformers, and they did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe. So those were like the biggest brands that we know of, right? But there were other toy lines that were incredibly popular for a short stint, hence craze, um, and then they, they had their moment in the sun. Today we're talking about Mask. Now this was actually one of my favorite toy lines in the mid to late 80s where it had a spike in popularity and then it kind of had a downfall. It really succeeded off of the, um, the fad of transforming toys in the 80s, starting with Transformers and, Robo and Gobots. But Mask did something a little bit different in that they had these actual vehicles that had little gimmicks. Um, you know, wings pop out, things shoot off, um, this, playset has like these guns and this thing transforms here this door comes out it becomes like a battle bunker example you know in the 80s things weren't as safe as they were today and these things actually shot projectiles i mean I, I think that's awesome i thought it was awesome when i was eight and ten years old was it totally safe not exactly but hey you know we were kids growing up in the 80s and you could do all sorts of fun stuff with this playset this guy comes out and you did a guy with a gun and a turret um the MASS stands for uh, Mobile Armed Strike Command, right? So those were the good guys led by this dude, Matt Tracker. Every toy came with a uh, two-inch figurine with a mask, and the mask supposedly gave that hero or, or villain uh, some pretend superpowers. But it was really cool what they did because they actually licensed uh, several other brands from, you see a 57 Chevy right here, and um, this is Rhino. This is one of the most iconic uh, vehicles of the whole mask line in the first series and these tires were actually made from real Goodyear rubber. Um, the bad guys uh, were was this guy and these vehicles right here, these are two of them anyway, and they were called Venom, which is a vicious evil network of mayhem. Uh, it's pretty clear who the bad guy is with that name. I mean, I wish some countries and dictators themselves would make their name that blatant so we could just tell, hey, those are the bad guys. They call themselves evil, you know, whatever. So this guy's name was uh, Miles Mayhem. And uh, whoop, there goes that. Uh, I just thought this was funny. They've got him in a... Um, you know, like a general suit, like a dictator army suit. It reminds me of guys like Saddam Hussein and Idi Amin who used to waltz around wearing those dictator uh, general suits even though they were never in the army. They were just killing people. So anyway, bad guys, I kill people. These are the good guys. And um, you know, there was a, a cartoon series of, that was very popular. There was a comic book series. And uh, I just was a big fan of this. This is this was another one of the most iconic. This was a Thunderhawk. So you can see like, you know, the, the uh, doors flipped up and um, uh, there was all sorts of stuff. I mean, there's not enough time to show you all the gimmicks that these things did. Oh, here's one. Uh, typically safe, not safe 1980s stuff. These actually shot these pretty heavy projectiles. Hey. And, oh, oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> it's my fiance. She's operated the camera. I'm sorry about that. that didn't hit you, did it? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, cool. So anyway. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, let me know if you like this stuff. Uh, I could go into far more detail and show you more. There's more vehicles from the attic where these came from. Again, this is Mask. There's also other uh, toy crazes from the 80s and 90s that we can talk about. Pound Puppy behind me is another one that comes to mind. Um, so let me know what you think of this uh, particular segment. Um, please go to growingupmovies.com. You can find all the social media platforms there to follow us. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get uh, notifications when I put new stuff up. And also, if you like stuff, 
please post and please share because this is a community that is all about nostalgia and connecting through our love of being kids as adults, connecting to the childlike creativity and looking at old toys. I mean, we all used to be creative with our toys, right? We'd have little fights, we'd set up play sets. So it's all part of the creative world. Uh, thank you for being here at Growing Up Movies. Please continue to follow us and spread the good word. Thank you.